What's up guys, Bobcat here, and welcome back to Wolves and Lords of Mayhem. Last time, we ended off fighting our brother Edric, and uh, let's continue doing that. Fight me! Fight me! Oh my god, he seems like he's gone crazed. Ooh. Is he inflicting bleed on me? I think he is. At least he looks like he's putting some sort of status ailment on me. Oh! Okay. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Put me neck. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't do all the blooming... The blooming stamina problems I'm having is ridiculous. And that attack does like 2,000 points of damage. Oh! Oh my god, get out of the way. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, get out of here. Wretch. Oh, I should have dodged that. I didn't know what that was. Oh, come on. Stop with the jump attack. I'm going to fail this. I can't do it. One more hit and I'm screwed. Get out of my blooming way! After I'm done with you, I will rip out Valeria's spine! Jesus, those blooming souls are so annoying. I need more power. Get out of the way, they're so tanky as well. Well, they probably don't have that much in terms of health, but because I'm only hitting them with basic attacks, it seems like it's doing no. No. Oh, is he vulnerable again? Pay attention to the ground. Fry the thing because it's in the way. Don't forget the beam that comes at the end. Good, I dodged it that time. Also, he's poisoned. That's not happening. Keep at max range. Pop a willpower flask because I need all the health I can get. Well, health, mana. Get out of my way. Those blooming little wretches. Always getting in the way. Not oh, great. I need willpower, but I don't have any way of getting any. And one hit from him, and I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Oh, d God, Lord. Give me the blooming willpower I need. How many charges do I have in here? Oh, bloody minute, I need one more charge. Good lord, he is annoying. And these little spectres don't make the thing any easier. Might as well attack him. I may not do any damage, but at least I'll get willpower back for it. Excellent, he's going that way. I just stood in that like an absolute pleb. Father is all I have left. Get him. Oh, get away. Get that lot. No. My god, they take, they take just long enough to kill that they're super annoying. I just don't quite have the uh, the DPS to get through them. Roll, you absolute swine. Get away from the minion because he is what you are using to keep yourself alive. Oh my god, I can't believe I dodged that. Oh, he's invulnerable again. Fry him. Get some willpower back. And by willpower, I mean stamina. Pull me neck. Get out of here. Hit him. Of course, he was invulnerable. Hit him some more. Jesus. This is so tense. He absolutely nuked me in the first phase, so I've no idea how much... Like, if I've got any tokens left. 
And these blummy little vermin keep getting in the way. Hitting all the wrong buttons because I'm super tense. Why are you focusing on me? Bog off! I need more power. Oh my god, these things are messing me up. Get out of here. Just hit him with the beam. Hit him with anything, I don't care. Just get him. No! Oh, you son of a... Oh, I'm gonna die. I don't have enough health to survive this. Oh my god. This is beyond aggravating. Get him, please, please, please. Oh, thank Christ. Blow me neck. Piece of work. The odds. Find your peace, brother. <sighs> we do not have much time before my essence vanishes from this world. Neither of us have time to grieve our losses. You have to hear me before I inexorably fade into oblivion. Stopping the core. New Dai made sure this process could not be interrupted. Until after it ran its course. Not from here, at least. If you want to stop the core and save the city, you have to find the conflux of energies on the other end of this beam and end the process from there. Can't we just destroy the core? No. That would require an unfathomable amount of power. You will have to find the main superstructure where the conflux is taking place and stop the Covenant of the Blind. But you cannot do this alone. Find the followers of Anathea, the Searing Soul. Mortals that worship one of the three last primordials. They are natural enemies of those you seek to stop and might be your only chance to get to the Conflux. Great. Religious fanatics. That's just my luck. Fine. I will seek this cult for help. Maybe they will understand why my powers manifested. Thank you, mortal. My time in this world is over. And I cannot sustain this shape any longer. My last deed, mortal, shall be to share what's left of my power with you. I pray that you use it to protect the creation. Always. I will. Well, hey, we unlocked one of the thingies. Aspect, aspects of Apocalypse. <clears throat> In her last moment, uh, Miz Mizanoth fully unlocked the sleeping potential within you, allowing you to embody, embody the aspects of the primordial beings. Press F to open the window. Uh, and then unlock the aspect you wish to use. Yep, fill the primordial essence meter. Press R to transform. I'm going to absolutely ham fist that at some point. Okay. Mm hmm. So, F. So, we've got the aspect of the dawn, which is the one we unlocked at the beginning. Commanding the battlefield is a beacon of blinding light. The primordial of dawn carries the hopes of humanity as she charges into fallen hordes or into the fallen hordes with her essence infused into the first movement of creation her believers stand steadfast smiting all traces of corruption under her holy rays we also have the aspect of war many of the fallen indulge in the drive destruction but baphomet aims for something higher uh, strategy combined with strategy combined with skill in the service of absolute conquest he splits the battlefield in twain with flames of war, dispatching enemies with long, with large swaths, swathes. All who stand in his way must fall before his violent ambition. We have Aspect of Infinity. The fabric of the worlds bends under his will, warping his enemies into the cracks of time and space. Or space and time. The divine powers of however his name is were born from a need to organise chaos, and from that day he was one of the he was one to force chaos upon others, contorting their bodies of his opponents with gravitational shifts. And finally, the aspect of flesh. Ooh. The, aber the aberrant bludgeon burgeons over all available earth 
tendrils of skin and flesh blooming to a huge all an all-consuming desire his followers are endless for an accepting ashtaroth their bodies become limitless weapons of bone and tendon they will lie in wait preparing to assimilate the world in their image um i have no idea what to go for mm. so sacred damage fire damage aether damage or rend hmm Give me, give me this guy. Why not? Aspect of Infinity, or Aspect of Dawn. You know what? Let's just go down the list. Aspect of Dawn, and talk to the Merchant Prince. Okay, back we go. I guess. Anything good? Okay. Hammer. Aquamarine ring. Um, some gauntlets. Any good? I'm gonna say yes, but unfortunately I lose elemental damage. So I might just keep them around for now. Mm. Those might be better. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back to town. Let's go talk to the prince. We are level what? 21? 22. Okay. Get ready for more dialogue. Mm hmm. Why'd you look to all those? You know, I might transmog my helmet so I'm not wearing this bling balaclava. You're back. Not without pain. What's the situation? The earthquakes are intensifying, and with them, I have reports of dead sightings and ghastly apparitions coming from everywhere. Champion, tell me you learned how to stop this madness. Um, have you ever heard of the worshippers of the Searing Song? If memory serves, the Republic rose from the remains of the Kingdom of Alia after the Civil War. Back then, the Keepers of the Faith and King's Guards were followers of the Searing Song. Nowadays, better known as the Brotherhood of Dawn. Them again? Careful with your history lessons. Books are full of lies. And so is your head. What do they have to do with this anyway? They supposedly can help us stop the phenomenon. Did your trackers locate the group of brothers that were with my friend? A deal is a deal. She's still alive. Once I have your full report, I will share her location. Okay. Give your report to the Merchant Prince. What we got? Ooh, legendary. <clears throat> okay. So we've got elemental damage. Fair enough. I prefer material. Um, agility resistance. Uh, what this guy? A bit of damage and wisdom. And damage. Ugh. Sadly, they're all pretty rubbishy for me. Hmm. I might tip this guy anyway. Good willpower regeneration. 15% material damage. It sucks, but I think I would have to eat that. I get elemental damage out of it anyway, so it's not so bad. Ding. I'm unstoppable. Now I got a, got a bunch of level ups from there. Okay. Uh, more toughness. Mm hmm. This guy. Um. Give me that guy. Skills wise, plague burst. Oh, excellent. Why not? I'll have that going. You, um, okay, apparently two for attack speed increase. Go with health, and you know what, damage. I'll need to resummon him, but for now he can stay dead. 
got four now. Take that. And Annihilation. We did get the fourth slot. So. Oh, it's three. Hang on. Mm-hmm. Now it pierces. Excellent. Did lose... Uh, what's that? 19 damage? But I'll take the pierce. I need to put a cut in as well. Okay, let's talk to him. Oh, chapter 2. Okay. After informing the Merchant Prince in detail about what's happening below Stormfall, he will share with you the position. Why would I not want to go into chapter 2 exactly? That's my question. Probably secret bosses, I'd imagine. Oh well, let's go. Yay, loading screens. I'm going to have to cut this out. Are you saying it can't be stopped? It can, but not from here. I just need more time. Time is a rare commodity, I'm afraid. Choice, even more so. We'll help you prepare an expert. It is here. Oh, quiet! My city! Take this map. It will lead you to the Brotherhood of Dawn and your friend. Leave. Leave now if you are to save anything. Chapter 2, Dawnbringer. Well, that was an unpleasant looking way for the game to load in. Good lord, when he um, when he popped in then. Ooh, that popping was rough. Well, let's get going. There's a battle nearby. Also, why am I my potions? Oh, okay, never mind. They're still there. Mm, dead soldiers. It must be where the purifiers caught up with the Brotherhood fugitives. Valeria should have been with them. Well, that guy don't look dead. Well, that guy don't look dead either. Yep, chapter two. Ooh, got a Colosseum? A town? A big fortress? There's some sort of giant worm that I'm probably going to kill. Another giant moor of some description. More moors, and that must be where we're going. Okay. Why is it always raining as well? Oh, purifier shock infantry. As the saying goes, she definitely was. Malis didn't stand a chance against Val. I'm on the right track. I guess we found uh, Malis. That was the woman who was leading us in the beginning. Well, let's get going. Mm -hmm. Wildlings territory. The echoes of battle are coming from here. Mm-hmm. That was not really worth me doing. Oh yeah, I forgot my beam piercers. I'm gonna be Ooh. What are those? Where did they come from? The art offering. Hello? Huh. I don't know what that is. Well, Increased there. Oh, that'll be um, that'll be for my chest piece, won't it? The chest piece that I never equipped, so never mind. I should probably equip this. I think ultimately that's worth it. At least it looks a bit cooler. Oh yeah, I need to get my uh, visor changed out, didn't I? Well, my helmet, I should say. Let's carve our own path through it. We're not letting those fugitives get away. Purity and sacrifice. No prisoners. Yes, just the car. Well, what is with the size of some of these people? You can't stop me now. My beam pierces. It pierces all. Hey, see, I've got some more. Oh, that'll be from... Uh... 
I'll be from here, won't it? Oh, this one. Yeah. So I get damage for every different stack I have on my enemies. That's what that's from. And because I have all the different abilities equipped, you know, I've got the extra spell damage from Sacred and the like, that is also contributing. Okay, then. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, fine. Stand slightly out of range. Purify a rail gunner. Uh, oh, you're mine now. Uh, that, that, and that. There's a shrine of some description up here. A big pit of burning corpses. You know, the usual things you come across. Oh, hello. I like the fact they've got a shield wall that they make. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you. I'm not sure how much help that's going to be, but thank you. It was R to activate that ability, so let's um, let's try and avoid hand fisting that button, shall we? Purifiers are hitting those wildlings hard. Yep. No surprise there. Oh. Yeah, with all these stacks, we get to... Uh, how much extra damage? Let's have a look. 5% um, damage for each ailment stack on an enemy. So, that's currently what? An extra 50% damage? 25-25? I think that's what that means. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, that's an extra 50% damage, I'm pretty sure. I probably should have got that ability a lot sooner. Oh, hello. Hmm. It's a shame I don't have more damage types available to me at the moment. Apparently, I've only got sacred. Then again, if I was to start using my fireball, I'd have even more. Well, for now, keep on going as we do. You know, my minion can apply... Um, toxic, can't he? Hmm. So I've got that at least. Um. W. Pop it. Mm-hmm. Monsters happening. Out of uh, willpower again. Hmm. Hopefully by the time of the next boss, I'm going to actually have some element to... Uh, Damage ready to go. Who's left? Oh. <laughs> Some bloody enemy stuck behind uh, that spike wall. Um, frost damage. Oh, that's attacks though, never mind. And there's a lot of people grunting in the distance as well. Hmm. Well, got about five minutes left. Keep on going. We'll have to fight that uh, just a car soon as well, I'd imagine. Hello. Get all getting a nice line. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What does my amulet give me? Sacred damage, I thought it was. Hmm. I really ought to find some stuff that gives damage for spells. Just to boost the amount of, um, of ailments I can get on. Oh, a bear. Well, it's dead now. Anything down here? Well, more bears. Come with me. Oh, that did kill my guy. Okay, that's fine. He wasn't doing much anyway. It took a bit too long to really get going. <laughs> More enemies, fireball them, because why not? Grab that. They all just faded through the floor. Very nice. Ugh, I heard gold drop. Always got to go back for it, even if it's literally like 30 or 40 gold. Just can't never bring, can never bring myself to leave it behind. Also, it'd be nice if my... Um, Attacks could hit slightly further ahead. 
Especially my beam. I wonder if anything increases its range. I wonder if that's a, uh, a thingy for it. Critical damage, damage, additional beam, ailment damage. Okay, another beam. More willpower reduction. Definitely going to want that. Make it nice and cheap. Also, also, what was that I just read? Increases toxic and aether damage for yourself and allies caught within the beam. Okay, that's kind of weird. Within the beam. I get the feeling that's not going to be useful for me because I don't often stand in front of my own beam because, you know, I kind of have my hands out in front casting magic. So I'm not exactly uh, stood within my own attack. I didn't even read what that was. Well, whatever. It's ours now, or whatever it is. It's an Alistair. Remember when he was a boss? Ooh, ordinary healing potion. Thank you. Wonderful. Just waiting for the day we find magic healing potions now. We might not find those till much later. Again, we've just entered chapter two, so I think we've got a ways to go yet. Yeah? Ooh! Note to self, do not stand in the uh, in the enemy's attack range. Don't stand there and face tank it. You're not exactly built for face tanking. I wonder how I get more stamina points. Ooh, crude emerald. There's probably, I was going to say, there's probably abilities in the perk tree, but there might not be, actually. Maybe you'll just unlock them as you go. Hmm. I'm still wondering how to unlock this fifth slot, actually. Yeah, I'll stand in a nice group so my AoE can uh, deal with you. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, Consuming Ember's leveled up. Ooh, frame drop. Always spooky when you get a frame drop. Also, I have nearly hit... Uh, what's it called? 30 minutes. So I'm going to have to end the part very soon, which I don't really want to be doing because there isn't really a um, like a save location around here I'm seeing. You know what I mean, a, um, a quick way back. Also, there's a golden uh, scarab in front of us. There we go. One, two. And go. This side. Uh, you know what? More ailment stacks. Oh, it doesn't matter, but anyway, I'll take it anyway. Why not? Let's go grab that uh, golden sculpture, I suppose it technically is. I completely whiffed it. Come back here. Where are you going? Oh, dear. Roll away, please. Roll away. I don't have enough stamina because I'm a blooming spoon and I'm out of blooming willpower as well. Do not let it get away. I don't even know if it can get away, honestly. Probably can. Got it. Phew. That was a bit spooky then for a second. I mean, walked into something that just proceeded to eviscerate my health, which was fun. Is that... I can see that was an enemy bear. A pistol and a catalyst. Well. Let's go back down to that staircase. We have it 30 minutes as well, but... I'll go on just a bit for longer because the whole loading screen thing. And the fact that we had a lot of them. Mm hmm. Okay, kill all the enemies. Uh, I can probably do half this place, I think. Then I will have to put a cut in. You know, it might be worth trying to find as much gear as possible that has... Um, Multiple damage types on it. I'd love me I can full up. Ooh, do I even have a town? I do, but I don't know what the town's going to be like. Okay, we're back here. Hello there, friend. Please browse uh, my Get rid of all that. Get rid of all the blues. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to say no. On this one is unmatched. That's my old coat. Get rid of it so I don't get attached to it. 
Any good? Health, wisdom. Mm. Oops. <laughs> Just pressed shift one too many times, so I've got blooming the uh, sticky keys. Well, you know what? We'll cut the part here. Hopefully, you all have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like, subscribe, don't forget to comment as well. And I'll see you all next time.